Okay, right now I want to explain you about in-cab inspection for manual and automatic, right? Number one, for automatic driver, you should put your wheel check before than anything. Excuse me, sir. I want to put my wheel check, right? It will be number one, put wheel check. Where? As you know, we have three tire, three axle, right? A steer axle, drive axle, trailer axle, right? A steer axle, drive axle, trailer axle. Driver side in the front and in the back of the drive tire, your side. Second one in the front and in the back. But if you have just one wheel checking your final test, you should put in the back of the drive right when you have just one is the number one after that you go inside the track when you go inside put your seat belt adjust it watch the mirror in fact adjust the mirror where is the examiner examiner is outside great Examiner is outside. You go inside. Your seat belt. Mirror. Put your seat belt right. Seat belt, seat, mirror. After that, turn key on and show all the lights to examine it, right? Show all the lights. Turn key on, not a start the engine. Just turn key on. How we show? First examiner is here outside exactly he can listen you right low beam high beam one by one left turn right turn for the flasher clearance line after that he go back right you can see from your mirror driver's side big mirror right you can see him after that with your hand What is that? Clear. Clear slide. What is that? Brake. Brake. Brake line. Exactly. Right? After that, turn key off. When examiner come inside, turn key off. Anytime. Hold a steer wheel with your both hands. Right? When examiner come inside, your seat belt is perfect. Your seat, you hold the steering wheel with your both hands and your key is off, right? He talk to you. My name is Hamid Falak Shahi. I am your examiner. Talk to you. After three, four minutes, say, okay, start your in-cab inspection. When he say that, the first sentence you should say is, I put my seat belt, my seat and mirror are adjusted. I will do my safety start, right? You have to say, I will do my safety start. When we say that, I will do my safety start, what does it mean? It means we want to start the engine, right? But we should do something because if it's normal car we don't say 
I want to do my safety start. I do so fast, right? When we say I will do my safety start, we go for number four. I divide it for you. First, turn key on, turn key on immediately. ABS, the flight, right? Is your finger, is your finger. Is the number one. Turn key on with your finger. The ABS light came on and off. The diff light came on and off. You can say the ABS light and diff light came on. The ABS light and diff light came off. Is the number one. After that, yellow. Y is yellow, R is red. Tractor protection valve, trailer protection valve. Pop out or apply and neutral, right? Is the number two. Okay. Okay. Tractor protection valve, pop out. Trailer protection valve, pop out. And neutral. If you are manual, clutch completely with your foot. After that, check neutral. Right? Clutch completely after that, check neutral. It's the number one, number two. Don't forget, it's so important. After that, we go for number five. You should say, in fact, check a pressure for 90 PSI. Which air pressure? Primary, right? You have to say, the air pressure should be less than 90 PSI. After that, we have two situations. Number one, it's less than 90 BSI. We have to say right now, it's 80 BSI, it's perfect, it's good, it's okay. Or, the air pressure should be less than 90 BSI. Right now, it's 110 PSI, right? If it's more than 90 PSI, You have to say, I pump my service brake. Slow, slow it down. When it's almost 90, less than 90, it's perfect. But don't do that so fast. Come to 60, right? When it's 90, it's good. Less than 90, it's perfect, right? And number six, start the engine we start the engine right start the engine we go so fast we review so fast i will do my safety start turn key on the abs light and def light came on the abs light and def light came off tractor protection will pop out trailer protection will pop out and neutral if you are manual clutch completely check neutral right after that for first safety start the air pressure should be less than 90 psi right now is 100 psi i pump my service brake pss, 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 pss. it's down right now it's perfect start the engine when you start the engine number seven air governor you have to say the air governor should cut out between 120 and 140 psi between 120 and 
140 PSI, right? After that, watch air gauge, listen for air governor. Be patient. Watch, listen. Where, when your needle is between 120 and 140, the air governor cut out, Psst, cut off, Psst, right? After that, we have to say the result. I want to let you know for in-cab inspection, not just this result for air governor, no. For all the result, for three important air check, any result, you want to say examiner, two point are important, right? I want to write here, all the result, all the result. Like a governor, when you listen that, you have to say result, right? All the result, two points are important. Number one, point, point with your finger. Number two, at A, number one, number two, right? When we say at, what does it mean? If you say roughly, approximately, close to, about, it's not acceptable. All the result, number one, with your finger, number two, at. Right now for a governor. When you listen to that, the air governor cut out at 121 PSI, the track passed the test. You know, point with your finger and at. Okay, for number eight, for number eight, so important, Because number nine is three important air check. Three important air check. Okay. Number eight. After air governor or before then three important air check. Right? We have to do something if you forget. Examiner stop you and say you fail. For manual clutch, first gear, turn key off, release your foot or release clutch. Turn key on, yellow, red, right? Tractor protection valve, trailer protection valve, released, pushed, right? It's for manual. For automatic, turn key off, a little weight, when engine sound completely off, turn key on, not to start the engine. The last one same, yellow, red, tractor protection valve, trailer protection valve, release. Okay. The air governor cut out at 121 PSI. The track passed the test, right? Turn key off. Turn key on. Tractor protection valve, release. Trailer protection valve, release, right? Don't forget, it's so important. Before then, three important air checks. Right now, we want to compare together manual and automatic. 
here we put in gear for automatic we don't have gear right when we release maybe track move right that's why manual guys put in gear for automatic what should we do maybe we release the track move right that's why number one put wheel check for automatic not manual for automatic guys that's why we put wheel check okay maybe you ask why we release because one of our three important air check is tractor and trailer protection valve test in which psi when we pump tractor and trailer protection will pop out it's the reason we release right okay right now we go for number nine three important air check a lot of a student fail for three important air check try to be exact like your paper or the videos I recorded before inside the track you can watch three important air check experience showed some students they fail they are very good very good but they fail I asked what happened to you say because for example for early test I say early test after that I push and hold I forgot to say the track cannot lose no more than 4 PSI in one minute that's why even you are professional and you are in final test you should follow test name explain do it result for all the result point at don't forget okay number one test name early test explain the truck cannot lose no more than four psi in one minute do it excuse me sir could i use from my phone bring your phone out go to a stopwatch when everything is good I push and hold my service brake with your finger I am waiting the needle to stabilize constant doesn't move right I am waiting the needle to stabilize some second wait when you are sure now the needle stabilize my test begins now or now the needle stabilized my time starts now 57 58 59 60 even not 59 57 58 59 60 result after one minute after one minute the air pressure did not drop more than 4 psi in one minute the track passed the test release your foot first one finish when you say the result right number two test name low air warning test explain the low air warning don't say test again low air warning test the low air warning light or buzzer should come on at or above 55 psi do it i pump my service brake pss, 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 pss. when your low air running light came on stop pumping result result the low air running light beep and buzzer came on at read it 55 bsi it's working properly the track passed the test number three the last one test name tractor and trailer protection valve test 
Did you remember we released before that three important air chain? Explain. Tractor and trailer protection wall should pop out approximately 40 psi. For this school, we say approximately 40 psi. Some schools say between 20 and 45 psi. Right? After that, do it. I pump my service brake again. Normally, trailer protection will pop out earlier. Psst, psst, psst. Right? Pump, pump. Imagine trailer protection will pop out. Right? When you wanna, when you are pumping, you have to watch your protection valve because you should recognize which one pop out. A lot of students fail because they said, okay, tractor and trailer protection valve popped out at 25 BSI. They are working properly. The track passed the test. Examiner say fail. Say what happened? Because just tractor protection valve popped out. That's why when you you are pumping watch in a small but important point, right? Watch, okay. Tractor protection will pop out, but trailer protection wall doesn't pop out, right? My tractor protection wall popped out at 30 PSI. I continue. After that, you don't need to watch because you listen, right? Psst, 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 until trailer. When trailer pop out, my trailer protection wall popped out at 21 PSI. They are working properly. The track passed the test. Number 10. If you are automatic, did you remember number two? Turn. Key off. Tractor protection will pop out. Trailer protection will pop out. Check neutral. Turn key off. If you are manual, just turn key off. Right? Don't forget that. Number 11 for automatic. The best time for remove chuck. Before then go, pop trailer, tra tractor, trailer protection will pop out, neutral, turn key off, everything perfect. Excuse me, sir, I wanna remove my child. Go come back, after that, number 12. Guys, right now we wanna do second safety start. There is no difference between first and second safety start. Number 12 is number Three, four, six. Three, four, six. Three, I will do my safety start. Four, turn key on. The ABS light came on and off. The diff light came on and off. Tractor protection will pop out. Trailer protection will pop out. Neutral, if you are manual clutch, completely check neutral. You don't need to check air pressure for 90 BSI. And number six, start the engine, right? Number three, four, six. When you start the engine, in cab inspection, right? All the component, you should explain while your air pressure builds. When you start the engine, you should explain all the component while a pressure builds, right? I have a separated video. If you go to my playlist, you can watch that. In cab inspection. If you forget something, for example, the wiper is sickly mounted and not damaged, working smoothly, you forget something. You won't fail. Your score comes down. As you know, in cab and outside together, your score should be between 67 and 92, right? If you forget something, comes down. 91, 90, comes down. Okay, for income inspection, for easy memorize, first the seatbelt, it shouldn't be in order. 
but for easy memory. The belt is not cut free. Securely mounted, not cut free. Take it out. Again, working properly, right? Working properly. Okay, this is my seatbelt. Seatbelt free is for your safety, right? After that safety equipment, I have three reflective triangles. I have spare fuses, six spare fuses, and my fire extinguisher is secure, fully charged up to date. You are here, you explain that, seat belt, safety equipment, one step. My city horn is working, my air horn is working, right? City horn, air horn. Again, one step. My left turn signal is working, my right turn signal is working, my four-way flasher is working, my high beam indicator is working. Again, one more step. My oil gauge is normal. Why is it normal? The warning light is off. My temperature gauge is normal. The warning light is off. My voltmeter is charging. My depth gauge has minimum one eighth of time. One eighth, it means the red area, yellow area, right? It means right now it's full enough out of red area. Red area is one eighth if you divide. My depth gauge has minimum one eighth of time, right? Here, 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 again. My wiper is securely mounted, not damaged, working smoothly. My windshield washer is working. After that, we turn. My heater is working. My defroster is working. Turn off. The last one, my windshield, window glass, mirror. Windshield, window glass, mirror. Are securely mounted, not damaged, cracked, chipped. They are clean. There are no sticker or things that block my vision. And the mirror are adjusted for me. That's it. When it's finished, we go for number 14. Right? Three important brake control test. Or I want to check my yellow red, right? My tractor brake, trailer brake, and service. good job, service brake. Tractor brake, trailer brake, and service brake, right? For number 14, we have separated video. You can watch that, but for manual, for automatic. For manual, number one, clutch gear. Number one, clutch, first gear. For automatic, service brake, D. D is drive. Service brake, D, for manual clutch gear is the number one. Number two, while you are doing explain, to check my tractor brake, yellow one, I release my trailer brake, right? You can say and leave tractor brake on, right? Number one, brake D or clutch gear. Number two, to check my tractor brake, I release my trailer brake. Number three, I try to move the track forward. Number three, I try to move the track forward. Number four, number four, if you are automatic, a little bit gas, if you are manual, don't let it clutch suddenly, right? Slow, 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 right? Shape or engine sound change, right? When do that, number five, neutral, 
pop out, tractor protection will pop out, trailer pop out, neutral, release your foot, explain. Number six, explain, right? Or the result. The truck didn't move, so my tractor brake is working properly. The truck. The truck. Tractor, trailer, truck. The truck didn't move, so my tractor brake is working properly. Trailer brake exactly like that for manual clutch gear for automatic service brake D. Number one. Number two, to check my to check my trailer brake, I release my tractor brake and leave trailer brake on, right? After that, number three. I try to move the track forward. Again, if you are automatic, a little bit gas. If you are manual, slow, slow, slow. Don't release clutch. Slow the track when it's shake or engine sound change. Neutral, pop out. And number six, the track didn't move. So my trailer brake is working properly. Number one, the track didn't move. So my tractor brake is working properly. For second one, the track didn't move. So my trailer brake is working properly. And the last one, I want to check my service brake. Right now, all of you know that. For manual clutch gear, for automatic brake T. Right? To check my service brake, Number two, I release both my tractor and trailer. To check my service brake, I release both my tractor and trailer brake. When you release both, for number three, don't say I try to move the track forward because you release both. I move the track forward five to 10 feet. Some schools say 10 to 15 feet, right? Here, this is school, I move the track forward five to 10 feet, right? After that, don't forget, take your hands off a steering wheel. If you are manual, don't release clutch. Slow, slow, slow until it starts to move. If you are automatic, a little bit gas. According to new law in Washington, first June, right? Your maximum speed should be two mile per hour. Two mile per hour. So slow is the number one. And number two, you shouldn't sharp break. No, a smooth break until the tracks comes to a stop. A smooth break until the track comes to a stop, right? After that, neutral, pop out, Explain. The truck didn't left or right. Tractor trailer stopped in same time. So my service brake is working properly. Just, I want to let you know, if I say before then explain, put in neutral, pop out, after that explain. If you don't do that, it's not wrong. But if you do that, is two point two advantage number one the track will be ready for next one again clutch gear or break the anything more clear and number two it shows your safety you know even for explain neutral pop out explain but if you don't do that it's not right don't forget for service brake your maximum speed should be two mile per hour not five mile per hour, and you shouldn't sharp break. A smooth break until the track comes to a stop. Okay, guys, if you follow like that, one by one, you will pass. As you know, my name is Hamid. Alak Shai, if you want to be driver, right, you can 
send me message 206-856-9150 or my email, my name and last name together at gmail.com Okay, good luck guys. I wish the best for you. Good luck. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, my